I left my beautiful badger's messy coat of back again with another. As it's to review this time, it is the Lord and Vel Castle pack from Manor Station. And actually, this is the castles and dungeons because you've got some dungeon components in with this castle as well. You can lock your enemies away and go to bed hearing their cries, flooding you to sleep. Ah, oh, it's magical. This is beautiful in HDRP, URP, as well as built in. And I'll be playing about with the HDRP version in this review. I know I'm brave, but. Let me just put it this way. Manor Station make it so easy to go HDRP-tastic. You won't regret it. So sit back and join us. See you all in a second. Today we are playing with Manor Station's Lord and Fell Castle and Dungeon Pack on the Unity Asset Store. I'm in HDRP at the moment. I know I'm braving it, but it's imported in perfectly flawlessly even um, i have to say i'm using the old standard assets because throwing them in i prefer them to the new ones and i'm able to run around inside this castle beautifully i also made a package i actually built made a build using this and it performs so much better outside of the editor as well you get some little hiccups with the editor uh, that you don't get outside when you build with unity saying that now it is it's so good, it's making my fan on my computer whirl. You might hear a noise humming in the background, and that's my fan telling me, you're in HDRP, you need to be able to have a little bit more power on your on your old graphics card. Look at this, it is stunning. We're inside the um, the first one, uh, it's called Overgrown Ruins, this scene. So Overgrown Ruins, they've got a fortress scene as well. And we're just going to look at his wood, very good wood. I love look at this it is really well done the textures the models it feels like i'm actually there really there and even the trees normally when you get a pack like these the nature is an afterthought and it's just thrown in and they look a bit dodgy um i'm gonna have to cite triple brick on that one so triple brick does lovely packs and then the, the trees are, are terrible these trees actually are really nice and you get good texture on them as well and the branches the leaves are probably on there nothing's floating about randomly the grass is good obviously you need to do the fix inside hdlp so you don't get luminescent grass and things but once you've done that, everything looks beautiful now i know you're thinking this is a massive castle it must have taken them ages to put this together it probably did but do not worry you can use dungeon or dungeon architect to procedurally generate amazing castles and dungeons using this pack because you get the presets with lord and Phil castle from manor station thank you manor station a little bit more effort at the start to get going uh, but it makes your life so much easier in the long run look at these vines out here and how they're moving with the breeze beautiful look um, wow it's lovely oh and here, open up the chest, and get some treasure. Oh, I know the chest does open. Let's pause it for a second and pop over here. Yes, yes, it does. It's static, so we, we can't do that at the moment, but it does. Look at that, separated. Wonderful, wonderful. So you get over 500 beautifully quali beautiful quality models in this pack. Um, 20 different tower presets and 30 different presets for the dungeon rooms but don't forget you can just make those yourself can i jump yeah i can jump oh that's painful so he's got presets already done for the dungeon and dungeon architect to make your life easier to get going look at the moss on there oh beautiful really nice he says that you've got a complete nature set. So it is. Eh? You've got trees and plants and grass. You've even, you've even got this little torch here to light your way at night time. Should we can pop into the other demo scene? Oh, a little sneak peek in here. You can look in through there. Look at that metal. Rocks in this pack. Don't forget the rocks. A lot of people forget that you get rocks in this pack. But you actually get rocks in this black and let's have a look up here so you can see the background the snowy mountain background that you get as well and while we're up here we can see the roofs 
Look at that. That is lovely. Let's sneak in around the back. Let's see if we can sneak in around the back. It's always good. It's always good to sneak in around the back. No one, no one can see you coming. There we go. Oh no, I fell down. Let's, oh, I fell down again. I'm terrible at this. This is why I don't play these type of games. All right, see if we can get up. Come on. Then we're going to pop into the other demo soon. Yes. Oh, we're up. Look at the tiles. Oh, wow. Look at the tiles. I love how he's got this, this damaged roof here and you've got the beams exposed. Oh, sneaky. We can look down there. Oh, we'll jump down there in a second. We will jump down there in a second. I just want to climb up here as so we can see. Oh, nearly fell down. Beautifully done. And what's down in this hole? Oh, should we fall down there? Should we fall down? I feel, I feel like I want to jump down here. Wait, no, I missed it. Oh, I was trying to get onto that ledge and I missed it. Oh, complete numpty. Never mind, we've got colliders. Wow, this is a massive demo scene. It really is. It's a huge demo scene. So we, let's pop into the other one as well. This is huge. I always get scared when you see a massive demo scene like this. You're like, oh, it's it's fliptastic. And it is fliptastic. Try not to flip it though. And let's go to the Sky Fortress. Dun, dun, dun. Sky Fortress scene. Now, why is it called a Sky Fortress? Well, that's because it's uh, a fortress floating in the sky. There you go. Uh, that's, that's why it's called a Sky Fortress. And here you can see the walls that haven't crumbled. Here's a wall that crumbled down. Here you can see the walls that haven't crumbled down. They're fine. They, although they've been, they've been attacked, the, the catapults have brought this wall down. Let's go up into the tower. You get these presets for the towers, or you just build your own because it's all modular pieces in here. What do I think of this bank? I think it's beautiful. Full price, it is $120 or well, one cent shy of $120, so it's very expensive. Uh, half price at the moment, $59.99, so worth getting it while you can for the last couple of days. Literally, it ends. On the 9th of august so you've got two days left to get this on a 50 percent sale if you're watching this video now as i've uploaded it today would i recommend this at full price well you know what the quality is very high and this is like you know the bet this is where you should be putting the price for high quality assets if you go over to the unreal marketplace you can see this is like a standard price entry level for high quality photo realistic assets if you're not doing a castle game or using castles, then do not buy it just because it's pretty. Uh, that's what I would say. Uh, if, if on a sale, you're, you actually you more inclined to, to buy it just because it's pretty. But even then, if you're doing a, if you're needing a castle in a game, then you need this pack. I can't basically say any better than that. If you're doing castles in Unity, and this is also on Unreal as well. So if you're doing castles in Unreal or Unity, you need this pack it's as simple as that because it is one of the best castles you can get on either the unreal marketplace or the unity asset store and you can just see how much stuff you get when you go to the overview so when you go to the overview see yeah, everything's all laid out look everything laid out this is how much stuff you're getting in this pack it is huge massive ginormous giganto um, come on, compile little shader. Compile little shader for the rope. Massive. So when I was you say like you know it's a you don't get as much of the town area and props and things that you would get in some of the other packs, but the quality, the amount of components you get for the castle, and the quality of the castle parts, that that's really where this shines. So you do get, so look, you get wooden bits here for having the beams and scaffolding inside your castle. You get a massive wooden door. If I pick, if I just grab, just grab this here. So it's got a good archway. You click on this. It's got lods. Okay, it's got point out. We're, we're lodded. We're in a, we're in a happy lod land. 
and going to go over to this little badger and he's at 2000 verts 3000 tries for this so they are not crazy high but you know once you add them all up they will be and that's why they've got the lods uh, and the lods go all the way down to just 700 verts and that's that's great because it makes it so much better because you've got these beautiful high quality pieces but then you've got the lods kick in so that you can get away with having them uh, so many in your scene and on your massive castles without causing a performance problem we also throw in a gpu instancer on that as well to, if you're having massive castle pieces massive massive castles being built so this is that's my thought lord and phil if you're doing a castle you need this pack it's a no-brainer if you don't want to see more of these videos click on this big juicy red subscribe button down below tell all of your friends random people on the street that Messi is finally playing about with HDRP because assets like Lord and Phil's Castle from Mana Station make it so easy, so easy to get beautiful results. So if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.